Hey everybody, it's Mike here at Pro Steel Products. This is just a real quick educational to help get my swing gates installed. A lot of you guys have been having problems with this back bar with these two bolts. Uh, it's understandable. Mine actually wasn't too bad because I didn't have all this. And right now, I'm developing the swing out tailgate to work with this OEM bumper. This does have the tail light guards on it. This poses a problem because it connects this with that because you're trying to do this and <laughs> it uh, uh, I'm gonna be carrying you around a little bit to show you but the first tip I can tell you is when you you got two bolts in here okay take one bolt out leave the other one in it'll hold it aligned uh, if you can see how black that is uh, I hope you see that but these are gonna come out pretty hard but put some WD-40 on it and run it in and out of that hole until, it, until you can do it with your fingers okay if you use an impact I don't recommend that I know it's quicker I do the same thing but pay attention if you come all the way out and you turn that impact to drive and you're cross threaded you're screwed I'm telling you you do not want to uh, cross thread these uh, a couple people called I think they did uh, their job just went from a couple hours to uh, probably four or five hours by tapping it out and all that stuff taking the bars off because uh, you're gonna have to have them bars off to tap those per, pretty much so pay attention to this go in and out in and out in and out until you can do it with your fingers then tighten it down go to the other bolt then you're gonna do the same thing with the other bolt you're gonna pull it out you're gonna lube it up lube inside the threads go in and out in and out until you can finger thread it okay then <clears throat> after you get that done uh, by the way this one here is a customer machine and it uh, I borrowed it because uh, I'm building the swing out tailgate for this now this connects everything here and remember them bolts up uh, I'm gonna carry around so don't get dizzy but there is uh, I'm gonna move I got the bottom bolts here loosened up but I am going to take this off up here to, to break that connection from here to here. Okay, this connection because it's hard to move this. But I have to keep this installed because uh, I'm building the swing out tailgate to go over top of this. Okay, so uh, this I'm going to end up taking off to make it easier for me because it was nearly impossible to line that up with uh, with this that I was using before you know stick down in a hole and pry it over this thing would not move so I ended up remember I told you to take these bolts up here out I said just loosen them well I removed them because after loosening them I, I had a ratchet strap on there and everything and I couldn't get it to move so I ended up having to take all them bolts out. <clears throat> now, the only thing holding that top bar up there is the roof mount, so you can move it a little bit. Now, after I get this out, this thing is gonna move really easy, and that's what you want. Take the time, this is the point I'm trying to make. Take the time to make it easier for yourself and not screw up, because if you cross-thread those, it's gonna ruin your day, I'm, I'm telling you. So anyway, uh, just remember, uh, clean these threads out. That's very important to where you can just thread them in with your fingers. Then uh, take the top bolts out. That'll help you. And if you have these on, take these off or else loosen them. I'm going to loosen that clamp up there. Uh, I don't like those clamps up there. I've messed with them before. That's why I tried to do it without doing that. But I need the bumper installed. So this will make your, your build or your install so much better. Just take those tips, uh, uh, loosen everything up so where you can just line it up. If you have to line it up with one of these, that's okay. But uh, <clears throat> I mean, I've even told people to put a ratchet strap around it and put your pickup truck behind it, chalk it up real good and pull it. And because this one had to come back so I was ratchet strapping from up there down to here and uh, trying to pull it back and it's like well this thing is holding it so I get rid of this it should be good 
So uh, many of you called and said you're having real big problems with them bolts, and I get it. Uh, I wanted to get this out there so you can possibly make your install a lot easier. This tailgate with the OEM bumper, I was supposed to have it done today. Today is Friday. Uh, I'm going to work through the weekend to get this done. I was pulled away to do some other things, so I'm going to be working on it today and maybe Saturday. I should have it done by Sunday, and uh, we'll get it out there on the Internet. There's so many guys waiting on this. Uh, be patient. It's coming. It's going to be right when it's done. So, uh all right, be looking for that. I hope these tips help. If you run into any other problems, just give me a call, and I'll try and walk you through it. But, uh, yeah, just take those tips. You shouldn't have a problem. So, uh, okay, guys, uh, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.